Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to the Servant of Christ podcast. Uh, glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Uh, well, I've got a brand new phone, so uh, I'm assuming that the quality of, of videos will improve. Uh, this thing is really, like, crisp and bright. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so sure if I even dare to take it outside. I don't want to drop it on the road somewhere and spoil it. So, uh, at any rate, um, I'm going to grab my guitar here for a few minutes and um, play some tunes. Uh, we're still celebrating our Easter holiday. Uh, this this week, we celebrated um, the week of Doubting Thomas, and uh, we celebrated St. George, who was a prominent saint. Probably, well, some people say that uh, St. George is the most popular saint in the world. And other people say it's St. Nick. So, it's kind of a toss-up between um, St. George and St. Nicholas. Um, so, let's see, we're going to get this amplifier going here, and the rain is coming down out there, uh, I guess a kid caught a nice lake trout up behind Robinson's yesterday, uh, which, good for him, you know, I mean, that's nice, I'd love to go up there and catch a lake trout, maybe I'll uh, go dig up a few worms, see if I can just do a little bottom fishing up there, and see if I can come out with a lake trout, I'd love to. bring one of those home and cook them up for sure for sure for sure yeah Christo Senesti Christ is risen Thank you. 
So, uh, where do we draw the line? I mean, I just want to ask a little question. Um, for example, um, I heard that something I said about a guitar to somebody upset them. Um, I said, uh, well, they bought it for us. How much you pay for that? And they go, a hundred bucks. I go, well, <laughs> left over. I go, you know, I wouldn't have given any more than 50 for that. Um, afraid that they, uh, got a little bit more money out of that guitar than what that guitar is really actually worth. Um, pretty hard to sell a used guitar for one thing. Um, you really can't assign much value on a used no brain guitar. Um, if it's been used and you might, uh, maybe if it's got real wood, then you might be able to get, you know, let's say a hundred bucks or, or, or something like that. But, uh, the thing was made out of plywood and even the uh, bridge, um, plate underneath was made out of plywood, which is very, it's very, well, it's plywood. It's very pliable. It, it don't really stay stiff. It's sort of, uh, it's laminated of course. So I, I, I heard that the person got upset. Well, you know, I, if I upset you for telling you, um that and, and trying to enlighten you for um um to have better understanding of you know the value of guitars and things then you know then you, you should be not upset with me but just be should should be upset with people that uh that try to sell stuff that's not really as worth what they say it is but anyway, go, glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm going to have to go now, uh, but you have a nice day. I got a call coming in, so I have to call back. And uh, so anyway, uh, if I offended you, my, my sweet young niece, then uh, that's not what I intended at all. Um, I intended to, um, uh, you know, educate you a little bit about, you know, guitars. And, you know, because you want to buy, if you're going to buy a guitar, that's an investment. You want to buy something that's going to... Um, give you your return on it. Most guitars nowadays, when they're used, they're not really, um, unless it's a Martin or a Gibson or, or you know, like a, a top name, uh, Rickenbackers and things like that, then um, most used guitars are not really worth uh, a lot of money. Pretty hard to sell a used guitar, you know, for a big, for the good money, unless it's a brand name. So uh, being frank about your guitar, I, I, and hurting your feelings, I did not intend it. So please forgive me. I am a sinner today. Glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and on the ages of ages. Amen.